Okay, everyone. Ah, uh, I had some recording issues, and uh, I had uh, like I've already started recording a bit before that, and but it messed up. So today we're actually gonna expand the church and actually make it look nice. Now you might notice that there's someone missing. Yeah, cause someone is missing. Jerry is dead. Uh, Jerry decided to punch me, and uh, we had a talk, and he we broke up. He left the village by force, by my hand, which means I killed him. I had to kill Jerry. All right, don't don't be me. Don't don't be hateful in the comments. Jerry was a good soldier, and he fought bravely in the five in the several few episodes he lived. But I had to take him down. See, the church wasn't big enough, and he got in the way. He tried to move him, and I didn't shoot him. I didn't, like, attack him or anything. He just got in the way, and my pickaxe actually smacked him. He started dancing in him. Oh, deja vu. I guess there's a glitch in the Matrix. Guess they just changed something. Right? Oh, my dog, you want to go outside? I'll be right back. Okay, everyone, did I die? No, I'm still alive. That's good. But as you can see, I'm expanding the church out a little bit. Oh, that's cool. That's kind of interesting. I just didn't expect that. So I think what I can do is is that I can make this part of the dang ch this church, right? I can make all this churchy stuff. But we can expand out this way, right? And they'll automatically wander in here in the mornings because that's how villagers work. They come to the bell. Right? So we're gonna expand out this way. And we'll build the church main zone right here, right? Making it kind of big and strong. But kind of give it a cavey feel. So I'm gonna actually eventually like start cutting out just random chunks and adding like a walls and stuff. So make this look like a natural spawning cave. Okay, so the church is already starting to look much more oppressive. So I'm thinking I'm gonna go out five blocks this way, so one, two, three, four, five, okay? See, that's how far I want to go. And we'll make each row that long. And that'll be how big the church was. Okay, so the church is going to be pretty freaking big. But the best bit about this about this church is that I'm actually gonna put some like religious idols. I'm gonna design Okay. Well, evidently the devil's possessed Minecraft. Maybe it's like a Halloween glitch or something. They did on purpose. Yeah look. Look how big this place is already looking. Ooh, free iron? That's gonna be uh mined out, of course. Can't not accept free iron. Whenever I'm watching Hermitcraft, I see these guys mining out this big project, and then I look at their at uh, the ground and I see an emerald or something. I'm like, guys, mine the freaking emeralds or mine that. There is a freaking like a stack of iron over there, but you're like, eh, it's fine. It's gonna get some diorite in the roof because that's naturally spawning. There you go, no iron there. Yeah, look at that. Look how nice and big that is. Now we can I even like set it up in such a way where there if we uh, if there's a way to craft bells you can like craft a whole bunch of them like I mean like it would just be like sticks and gold right like it would be a seriously though it wouldn't be that hard to just make a crafting recipe for that right I mean it wouldn't. Maybe they just want to make it so that something only villagers can get or something. Maybe they could like make it so that there's a secret one. You have to guess all of the um, ways you have to build it. Now that's a nice looking church. Now I just gotta make the uh... So one, two, this one's two, three, four. Alright, see? Now, what I'm thinking is, is that we put these like that, right? And he's standing on one. 
We put a block of gold in the front. And a block of gold right there, right? Put a block of coal right there. See, see? Then there we go, see? Uh, that second block of gold doesn't really fit in. I can put it wall, see? See, there we go. But I can put, since there's nothing back there, I can take these back. Gosh darn it. It's my torch. Okay, so I can put these back up against the wall. Right? And then... Well, wait, wait. These guys are just have like the same texture, but like also not the same texture. So I can put I can put my block of gold like this. Why can't I pick up this diorite? <laughs> there we go. There's that diorite. Now I'm gonna pick up. Which I learned the hard way. Woo! God. That could have been an instant death. I learned the hard way that the boon stands break with a, if if don't work if you use a uh, n uh yeah, your fist. So I learned that the hard way. There we go. Now, if I can get some lanterns, I think I got some coal. Yeah, I can make some more torches, right? I can make a whole bunch of torches, okay? Now, if, since I got some new, some more iron, I can smelt it in our friend's house down here. Our hermit. And, uh, just, uh, what the heck, I'll put some more coal in there. Fifteen iron. Now, that all will be smelted soon. Okay, there we go. Also, that will be a great place to expand into eventually. I think this cute little place got. All right, we can make some banners eventually once we actually get enough resources. And then I'm gonna remove this bell. Sit there. All right. Now let me just get some diorite in the main hand. Put some torches. That. And we'll fill this place with lanterns eventually, not just torches, because torches are kind of ugly. You guys, it's the morning. You know what that means? You go to the freaking, go to the church. The church is like your home, right? You guys love churches. In our real, in our world, you can't get people with a stock going to church. In Minecraft, you can't get them to go to church. What is this place coming to? I'm gonna just. Now I've got. More than enough to make at least 50 lanterns now. If I had more than enough torches to make 50 lanterns. Once this bell is put back. Oh, it's because I took. I think it's. No, I, I put the bell back. I hate having to, like, walk so far to just get, like, some simple stuff. See, look at that. 15 lanterns. Wow, that's, like, actually quite a bit of lanterns. I don't know if they actually like give any bonuses. Like make what makes them better besides them looking better. They're even like harder to place because there's only you can place them in certain places. Okay, that looks nice. Now I can put some entrance. And I can put some ooh, that would look nice. Aha. Kind of look like a there you go. Now I put the bell right there. That that looks like a church, right? Just need some seats in which I have more, more than enough stairs. Okay, in this chest I have over sixty stairs. All right, sixty-four stairs. So, so yeah. Eventually, now that the church bell is put up, I they'll eventually start wandering into the church. So, uh, let's put about two. Then, two. yeah, three in each row because it's about six across. Now, man, this church is small compared to what I thought it would be. Um, now I think I can put some diorite up here. Uh, 
I just gotta make sure all this is bright enough without the torches. Cause I've got if if it's not, I got more lanterns. Once it's morning again, these little guys will. Okay. Um, I think I can put one more lantern, like right here. I can put this there. Okay, let's remove all of these torches from the from the church. Actually. There we go. This. This looks weight. I know they're not needed, but like, it adds a level of beauty to the church. Okay, and then I can put some stairs. Like so. No. There we are. There we go, so the nice, lovely church. I just got it. Man, this place looks pretty. Wait, I think if I hit this from the right way. Now, they'll all run to their houses, but in the morning when they come back, I think I'm gonna actually put some to replace some of these torches. There we go. There, that's a, quite a bit of lanterns. I can make one more lantern now. Right. Hey guys. Enjoying yourselves? Good. Okay. You know, this is Tin Obsidian, you know. Could symbolize evil. Nah, nah. Obsidian takes too long to mine, anyways. Not worth it. Let's see what I have in my chest. I got shears. That's normal. Shears. That's pretty good. Put this obsidian. Oh yeah, I forgot. Look at this. Look at this. One diamond for emerald. No, cheap bit diamonds are nowadays. I can just go down my mine and find a hand your devil. Go down deeper into Cave Stone City. Boom. Look how pretty the church is. So we're gonna go wide. So you've got your Beautiful little wait. Let me do this so there's like room for them. There we go. Look, look at this. So you can just sit down on your church and you just pray to your stone entity, the stone entity. Now, whenever it's morning, these guys will come over and they'll be very happy to see their church is actually fully renovated. But Let's just see what's going on in the other village. Let's see if they've actually given birth to some other villagers. I don't even think they have. Like, that's the funny bit. That they don't... That they don't breed or something because of this. I bet there's, like, a cave that will eventually run into the city. That I could find and, like, cave stone could, like, live in and they could trade through it. I don't know. But there will be trade eventually, that's the point of this. To explain human civilization. See, I've developed a special kind of house. Instead of using glass. I mean, like, I use glass a little bit on this one house. But, I figured out it's cheaper and it looks nicer. If you use, uh, like, fences. Oh, wait. Let me see. I, of course, out of so many shears I own. But, see, look. Caves, this village, there's one... Danger. Let's see if they can find a second one. There's a second one. No, nope, but they do have a squid. It's there, Jerry. May he forever live in peace. Well, let's get back to the other village. So, the small, the cave stone is a bigger village in general, but the issue with it is, is that it uh doesn't produce nearly enough food. If villagers could starve. That would be an issue, but if I could, I can starve, but I think I want to see if I can get one chicken in cave stuff. And that'll be like at home. Oh yeah, I've been trying to tear down this place, but it takes forever. I'm pretty sure just gonna burn it all eventually. Just burn all the not on the wood buildings, and then finish off all the remnants. 
Ke Keystone. I thought they would do it for Minecraft, but no. Oh, I have like a whole bunch of sticks. I can make a lot more lanterns then. You know, I can make lots more. There we go, there's two more lanterns. Okay, these guys don't seem to be having it. Please tell me you don't. Okay, yeah, this guy's got some good loot. Good stuff in it. Cavestone will be very happy to know once the other village begins to trade. Let's see. Oh, look, they're at the church. Oh, it's about the pastor. Oh, he's the new pastor, I guess. What do you sell? Oh, you sell iron armor? Except iron armor or die. This is our religion. Virtual iron. I just realized there's no iron blocks in this entire thing. That is sacrilegious. I gotta get some. Do I even have enough iron? No, I spent it all on, on lanterns. Like, uh, all my lanterns. Ugh. I can get some iron blocks for you, man. If I were to actually, like, go to the right place. I think I'm gonna have, like, exactly eight iron. Yeah, I have eight iron. Sorry, man. Iron's going unrepresented. Okay, everyone. Let's do a quick time lapse of mining. Okay, so. Hope you enjoyed that my satisfactory mining time lapse. I collected quite a bit of resources. Let me see. I've now got 24 ore, gold, and 36 iron. I might be able to get a few iron blocks out of that. That's good. 31 gold. I sadly did not get any diamonds, which makes me want very sad because I needed those diamonds. But. Got a crazy amount of cobblestone. Some granite. I mean, I got some okay crap. I mean, you know, I got some okay stuff. Oh, they're all sleepy. Looks pretty good loot. I'm gonna just. Well, everyone. Hope you enjoyed this episode of Civcraft.